Hello dear students, welcome to Organic Chemistry, some basic concepts, another edition of a series of videos. Today we shall be talking about ortho, meta and para substitution in aromatic compounds. Aromatic compound, the simplest example we are taking here is benzene. A group gets substituted on the benzene ring. Now this group can either increase the reactivity of the benzene ring or it can decrease the activity of the benzene ring. If it increases the activity of the benzene ring, that means its ability to react with other compounds, if it increases, then this particular group is called as a ring activator. On the other hand, if this group decreases the activity of the benzene ring, we call it as a ring deactivator. This group, that is the group which is already present on the benzene ring, also decides where or at what position the second group entering into the benzene ring will become attached. So this is our new entrant E positive. You know that aromatic compounds undergo electrophilic substitution reactions. So with respect to the group which is already present on the benzene ring, the electrophile that is E positive can either enter into the second position, third position or fourth position. The fifth position is the equivalent to the third position and the sixth position is equivalent to the second position. So we have, we can have an ortho substituted product. That means a one, two product. That means the new incoming group has become attached to the carbon, which is next to the substituted carbon. One, three, this position is called as the meta position. One, four is called as the para position. What? Uh, what type of groups affect the ortho substitution, meta substitution or para substitution? What is their behavior? What is the criteria? We have categorized them into two, the ortho and para substituting groups and meta substituting groups. What has been observed is those groups which affect the new entrant at the ortho position simultaneously uh, decide that okay the new group has to go to the para position so ortho and para are one set of groups and meta substituting is the other set of groups ortho and para substituting we are taking a very simple example over here is of phenol phenol if you notice oxygen has lone pair of electrons on it which it is happy to share with the benzene ring now when it shares with the benzene ring it itself acquires a positive charge with the result, a carbon adjacent or next to the substituted carbon acquires a negative charge. A series of resin canonical structures is formed. So you have negative, negative, negative. For a detail on this, please refer to the video on resonance. We have discussed this in quite a thorough detail in that particular video. With the result, if you notice, the negative charge is concentrated at three positions. Those positions, if you see above, are the ortho and the para positions. In other words, the electrons are present more at the ortho and para positions at any time than at the meta position. An electrophile is positively charged. So it, or it can be a neutral species, but having but is short of electrons. So this comes and attacks the benzene ring at the ortho and the para positions. So we have two products formed over here, the ortho substituted product or the para substituted product. Usually the percentage of the para substituted product is more than that of the ortho because of the proximity of the two groups over here. If these two groups are big, they will usually repel each other. They will try to move away from each other. That is why due to what we say steric hindrance, 
para product is a major product although both of them are formed usually it could be like a ratio of 40 to 60 but it's not 50 50 they're not found or produced in equal per, uh, percentage what will be the examples of these type of groups usually those groups which are able to donate electrons to the benzene ring so we have alcohols we have OR, OC6H5, amino, so they are able to donate electrons to the benzene ring. Since they are releasing electrons in the benzene ring, now the benzene ring is more active. It wants to take in more electrophiles. That is why they are called ring activators. They are electron donating groups, ring activators. A very important exception we have over here is of the halides. That is, if this X group is Cl, Br, F, I. We know very well that halogens have strong inductive effect. That means they pull electrons. But at the same time, we also know that halogens have lone pair of electrons on them because of which they have a tendency to donate these electrons to the benzene ring. So although they pull electrons from the benzene ring, they are electron withdrawing, but they at the same time, because they are releasing electrons which will go to the ortho and para positions, that is why they are ortho para directing. So they are ring deactivators but ortho para directing also the carbon to which they are attached over here if you notice it is sp2 hybridized because it is forming a double bond so this carbon attached to cl is actually sp2 hybridized compared to an sp3 hybridized carbon the bond length in sp2 is smaller because of which it doesn't allow the chlorine to pull the electrons so easily from the pi bond. Let's come to meta substitution. We have taken a very simple example over here an aromatic acid that is benzoic acid C6H5COOH. Now, here if you notice in this oxygen because of its electronegativity it is pulling away electrons from the benzene ring when it pulls away electrons the electrons are withdrawn from the benzene ring we have the aromatic carbons acquiring a positive charge in the process these are the various canonical forms that is again you will study this in resonance so our resonance hybrid has one, two, three. These three are ortho and the para positions which are electron deficient themselves. So if a new electrophile wants to enter, it's positively charged. Positive and positive definitely won't attract. So the only position left for it where there is no deficiency of electrons is actually the meta position. So whether you talk on the left or the right hand side, they are the same positions. It's one, three only. Here, if you notice, the group is withdrawing. It's pulling away electrons from the benzene ring. In other words, the ring doesn't want to react. It doesn't have the capability to react so easily now compared to how it was with the ortho para substitution. That is why they are called ring deactivators. So meta substitution, they are electron withdrawing and they deactivate a ring towards further substitution. And these substitution we are talking about halogenation, friddle crafts alkylation, friddle crafts acylation, nitration, sulfonation. If you see the video electrophilic substitution reactions for aromatic compounds, you will be able to uh, relate to these five types of substitution reactions. Examples of meta substitution nitro, nitroso, COH, COR, COCH3, amides. So, these are some of the examples of meta substitution. So, once this concept is clear, five 
of your reactions in aromatic compounds are taken care of. As I said, you have halogenation, sulfonation, nitration, friddle crafts, acylation, friddle crafts, alkylation. All these five are electrophilic substitution reactions. So once you know the category of that particular group, whether it is ortho para or meta, you will be easily able to write the final product. Wish you all the best.